I read the comments on the videos that I post on YouTube. And a common question is, what is my opinion of the Rayner Ray One Galaxy Spiral Lens Implant that is available internationally, but not yet FDA approved or available in the United States? My common response is, I have no experience with it. And that was true until about a week ago when a patient came to see us who received the Ray One Galaxy Spiral Lens in Turkey. He was not happy with his quality of vision with that lens implant. And so after a long discussion, I explained to him, I've not had much, if any, experience with the Ray One Galaxy Spiral Lens. And if he is unhappy with that lens, we can remove it and replace it with a different lens, but I'm not sure how well that he'll see. He understood the uncertainty involved, but he did not want to continue to see with his Ray One Galaxy spiral lenses. He did not like his quality of vision. So yesterday we removed the Ray One Galaxy spiral lens from his left eye and replaced it with the Envy trifocal lens. Of course, I have no financial interest in any of the products discussed in this video. I only receive compensation from patients who come to see me for their eye exams, eye care, or eye surgery. So let me share with you what he told us about his experience just 18 hours after his undergoing intraocular lens exchange where we removed his Ray One Galaxy spiral lens and gave him the Envy trifocal lens. So we have a 60 year old gentleman who had myopic LASIK in 1994. He subsequently at age 60 had elective lens replacement surgery in Turkey where he received the Rayner Galaxy multifocal implant in July Subsequent to his elective lens replacement, he had YAG capsulotomy only to his right eye. So he has an intact capsule to his left eye. And then he came to see us about a week ago. And why were you dissatisfied with your vision with your Rayner Galaxy lens implants, which are not currently available in the United States? That's the reason I wanted that particular lens because of the design, what I thought it would be minimizing the halos at night and, 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 um, and be the best lens for me. So after the surgery, I had a lot of fogginess. It's like seeing through a fogging you know, glass. So that was number one. Number two, I see a lot of you know, pronounced halos and streaks. Out of the left eye, the streaks are two to eight, very pronounced around the yellow lights and then uh, a lot of halos uh, at night in that element. And uh, just the, the, the quality of the vision just wasn't there. And did the YAG capsule on me to your right eye improve the quality of vision? A little bit, improved it a little bit. And it was minor YAG, so it was really, the doctor in London did four zaps into the leg. So I did that in London. When he came to see us a week ago, obviously you were very dissatisfied with your quality of vision, hazy vision, halos at night, he had a posterior capsular fold uh, on his left eye that was ca causing a little streak artifact and he wanted lens exchange and I guess you wanted to preserve your ability to see far and near without Correct. glasses, right? So that was important. So we, we didn't give him a monofocal and we removed his Rayner Galaxy multifocal IOL to his left eye yesterday and gave him an Envy multifocal IOL. This is our patient's intraocular lens exchange surgery performed on Tuesday, October 21st, 2025. The eye has been anesthetized and filled with viscoelastic. The anterior capsule is elevated from the lens optic followed by visco expansion of the capsular bag with Helon GV. A Connor wand is then used to lift the haptics and optic out of the capsular bag. Note the design of the lens haptics with this lens implant. Once the Ray One Galaxy is elevated anterior to the anterior capsule, we can clearly see the subtle rings that are designed within the spiral optic. The rings are more subtle than rings seen on the currently available 
multifocal lenses in the United States. We then use micro forceps and IOL cutters to bisect and remove the galaxy lens from the eye. The lens comes out very easily once bisected. Here is the view of the galaxy spiral lens on an instrument wipe. It has a unique design. Finally, the NV lens is placed into our patient's eye. It centers nicely and the case concludes uneventfully. And now he's about 16, 18 hours after surgery and to his left eye. He now has a galaxy lens still in his right eye and an NV lens in his left eye. And what's the difference so far? I feel better with the, with the NV than with the galaxy. The galaxy still, I see a little bit of fogginess. The NV, there's really not a lot of fogginess. I still see halos, but no streak out of the left eye. And I'm, I was hoping that that would go away with, you know, in the next couple of days. And the halos in the NVI compared with the halos in the Galaxy Eye, are they just it's, different or are they less or are they more? On they're one about eye? the same, okay. but, but a little bit different. It seems like they are less pronounced in the left eye than the right eye. Less pronounced in the NVI. And the haze through the left eye is less than the haze on the right eye. Correct. So the Rainer has more haziness to the vision. The Envy has less haziness. Know that his right eye has had YAG capsulotomy, so there's no PCO causing the haze. His left eye, we intraoperatively polished the posterior capsule to remove just very fine uh, epithelial cells that were barely, what I call barely trace posterior capsule opacification on the left eye. You, you, we asked you this question earlier, if you had to kind of rate your quality of vision on the right eye with the Galaxy and one day out rate your quality of vision with the NV, how would you rate it and why? If I want to rate it on the just vision, just be able to see, the right eye actually I could see really clearer actually than the left eye. However, the quality, the, just the kind of subjective quality, the, the lack of haziness on the left eye is much better in there. Also, uh, around, you know, uh, stoplights, like in, in the green, I used to, before, when I had the two galaxies, in the green stoplight, I would see three pronounced crescents around the light. Today, I'm only seeing one, which is at the top right corner. I don't see it on the left corner mm. and the, on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I would say the Envy for me seems to be a better quality uh, fit than the Galaxy. Awesome. So now that you have the Envy on your left eye, do you want to just leave it alone and just have one Envy, one Galaxy, or how do you? What's your mindset now? It's been less than twenty-four hours. Oh, uh, what do you want to do with your I right eye? I would probably want to explore doing the right eye or with Envy. Okay, which would be more complex because you said yeah, capsulotomy. But same disclaimer: there's a chance you're not going to focus perfectly, and we're going to see you back, and we'll have to do some type of fine-tuned procedure, but. We the fine tune procedure much. would be uh, maybe LASIK uh, or it, it it might be LASIK. Okay, but the LASIK uh, there's pros and cons to all these retreatments. Okay, so LASIK. If I did LASIK on you, I'd have to see you three weeks after your surgery. Okay, it's not a problem. Okay. I, I will fly. I mean, I'm live on a plane. Okay, got it. But we'll we'll get it close. It's just you're probably perfectionistic, and to yes. get it really perfect, it, it we may have to do something. So, so I, if I want to do this, I'm going to do it in the next four weeks. I'm okay. trying to align my schedule. Okay. Is that too long, no, too far, fine. or is it... So I have all the... Me we have all your measurements. I would want to check you in the office to measure both eyes before we do surgery to your right eye. Because how you do on your left eye will help guide a little bit how I plan your right eye surgery. Okay. So I will come in, let's say on Monday, we do, the, we do the measurements and then Tuesday would be? Surgery. The surgery. Yeah, that would And work. then you want to see me? Wednesday. Wednesday. Correct. And then what, you said three weeks after that? Then maybe work. check you three, four weeks later. Three, four weeks later, okay. Yeah. And that's just an in and out because I could just fly yeah, in and fly that's out. Right. That's right, that's right. In there. And if we need to do an adjustment? I usually like to wait like six weeks before six, I do any adjustment. Six weeks before you do an yeah. adjustment. Okay, good enough. Anything else you want to no, say? No, that's it, great. I just, you know, I came in all the way just to see you. <laughs> Where do you live? 
I live in um, Seattle, Phoenix, and I spend a lot of time in London, so we, I live all over the world. Awesome. Thanks so, for coming to okay. see us. Thank you. Yeah. Um, give you a shake. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it, Doctor. Right. Uh, Thanks to our patient for sharing his experience. It'll be very interesting to see how the Galaxy Spiral lens performs once it receives FDA approval and becomes commercially available here in the United States. Currently, the Envy multifocal lens is continuing to prove its consistent high, high patient satisfaction rate. I am seeing patients who have received other multifocal lenses who, if they're not happy with their multifocal lens that they received, and I remove various branded multifocal lenses and replace those multifocal lenses with the Envy, that almost always the patients who receive the Envy lens are more happy with their quality and range of vision than the previous generation or alternative multifocal lens made by different manufacturers. Again, no financial interest. This is just what I'm finding in practice. Thanks as always for watching. Hope the information is useful for you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.